Hi guys, this is AC Game. I'm back with another video on Nikkei Goddess of Victory. Now, I know the title of this video is probably Mary vs Neon, but I want to clarify something. We can't say for certain who is the best character to summon for right now because there is a couple of issues or a couple of things we need to figure out when each character comes out. So if you guys are free to play, I want to quickly say this, don't summon for both these characters yet. Wait for one week when everyone summons and, and players, counter creators including myself, summon for Mary, we test her out and then wait. Uh, for another like two days after the release of Neon because content creators will test her out, see her damage and then we're going to compare which character is best to go for as a free to play player. Now I know free to play players right now don't want to summon for both of the characters because we do know the summer event is actually going to last for like two months and we don't know if there's going to be a batch two characters coming out for summer as well. That will be interesting to see but we also know that the near collaboration is coming out in the future most likely going to be in august or september um so i want to say that if you guys are free to play just don't summon yet the answer to your question the burning question that you guys are asking mary versus neon it is hard to say because of one specific character that is neon now i can say right now mary is going to be a character you can't use in every um, team or universal team however I can already say that her e healing is going to be pretty good, her damage buff is also going to be pretty good and the fact that she is a 20 second cooldown character, she is already going to be very very good as a character but if you're free to play the niche gameplay or the niche um, skill she has can be annoying. Now in terms of Neon, Neon we can't actually say for certain how strong her damage is going to be just because I'm not going to lie, her skills are kind of hard to tell whether it's going to be good especially her burst skill now i can say for certain the first two skills are pretty good but the burst skill is where i'm more particular about because initially i thought it's going to be similar to Medernia, but from the gameplay we saw the short little gameplay we can already see it is slightly different or more different sorry so we need to actually see how good that damage is going to be because the skill description for it is actually extremely confusing as well we don't know whether the final attack is like the attack stats or i don't know it's very confusing to know how great her damage is going to be so we do need to test her out see the damage and then see how good her damage is without going against a fire team see like universal damage overall and then see how good it is against a uh fire boss or fire character or enemy sorry so that we can see the increase in damage done when she is going against the character that she can um increase or she can use all the skills on so it is going to be very important uh, testing is done for each individual character unlike the uh, bunny girl characters which we could actually say for certain straight away after looking at the skills that they are going to be absolutely amazing with these two new characters it's going to be very very hard to say especially for neon because um the damage is something we can't see for certain right now and we need to see how good her burst skill is going to be and how good universally she is going to be even though she's specifically aimed at dealing extra damage to fire code enemies we need to see her universal damage to see if it's still worth putting for her for like free to play players her and her damage now with mary obviously like content like solo raid um union raid are very very important end game content and in the future we are going to need to focus on mono specific teams i know a lot of people don't want to agree with that but that is essentially how end game is going to be for like whales i guess because if you're free to play if you take a look at the bonus damage you get for dealing um, using the um uh, advantage um elements it's only like a 10 percent increase however with the release of these characters where they can buff up the strong element type um then it is going to make it better for you guys to use a mono specific team in the future but if you're free to play that's probably not your main end goal and you want to probably focus for characters that are just can that can be used universally but in terms of both characters i will say they're not going to be absolutely broken um they're not going to be as good as the uh, uh bunny girl characters so if you're free to play and you're just considering you're just aiming for only meta characters pilgrim character you might want to skip on them but at the same time you might regret it in the future just in case they do start releasing a lot of water characters and mary becomes amazing for that burst one um a skill she has and in the case of neon if it turns out it's like a specific content where the boss is blue 
um sorry the boss is red and the damage that neon provides is absolutely insane but you already missed out on the character because he skipped on her then it's gonna suck we don't know what the future holds for nikkei in terms of um updates new new game mode because honestly after beating or, or being able to clear every single special interception what is really end game or what is your main goal obviously it's to get the best gear for your characters but why why are you working towards getting the best gear for your characters what content are you aiming at right now it's only solo raid and union raid and joint operation but we don't have a mainstay game mode where it uh, runs every single day that you need to um, be able to clear we don't have that currently right now even though we have story mode you're still able to clear it's with some of the characters we already have right now as long as you have the recommended power so there isn't going to be like the well the two new characters are not characters that are going to help you too much in that content however if you're stuck in nihilista boss neon might be a character that can help you deal with extra damage but at the same time if you take a look at blanc and noir just having both of them honestly just helps you out clear the nihilista boss already so you don't necessarily need to summon for these limited characters especially because um both the bunny girl characters are going to be added into the standard banner as well so it's up to you guys to decide but i honestly i feel like free to play players are more likely to skip both these characters because of the niche gameplay and the fact that they can't be used universally so i won't be surprised if that happens but honestly uh, i understand where this is coming from because there's going to be a lot of characters coming out in the future and a lot of free to play players don't want to miss out on those meta characters and obviously you don't want to miss out on pilgrim units like all the pilgrim characters we've gotten so far are absolutely insane and honestly if you're free to play player and you lost out on getting Madonna, you lost out on getting dorothy it will suck like honestly you'll be in such i don't want to say you'll be in a huge disadvantage but having a multiple strong burst one characters for example not only being able to use litter but having dorothy as well is amazing able to have strong damage dealers because if you don't have scarlet then modernia is the next damage dealer you should be using honestly then after that is haran who's also another pilgrim character so i do understand why pilgrim characters are the main priority for free to play players as well as the near collaboration but near collaboration still has quite a ways away from coming i feel like like i said August or September is probably the likely likely um, date that the collaboration will be released but uh, we will get more information in the near future I'm just hoping that free to play players don't lose out on specifically amazing characters um, but yeah that's all I really wanted to talk about in today's video tell me down in the comment section as a free to play player what are your goals and what are your aims with the new events are you guys going to be skipping are you guys going to be summoning or are you just going to wait for content creators to test them out which i highly recommend you guys do so if you guys don't want to miss out on my testing because i will be summoning for both of them because they are limited and uh, i spend in the game i don't spend that much anymore actually but i still want to get limited characters program units and um, collaboration characters and i already have a lot of gold managed tickets saved up so i definitely will be getting the characters i definitely will be testing them out so if you guys don't want to miss out on those videos make sure you are subscribed make sure that post notification is on and if you guys find this video helpful and overall useful then hey click the like button it's been your boy ac gamer don't forget to like and subscribe and i'm out